Gay Families. It's me, Mr. Valentine. I'm here with the math department, and we're going to let you know what's new for the 2020-2021 school year. Hi, I'm Mr. Kidd. One of our new features are our office hours. We have office hours from 7.30 a.m. until 8 a.m. We also have office hours from 3 p.m. until 3.30 p.m. Hi, my name is Mrs. Overmesic. Something else that we're doing this year is we've integrated the online version of our Big Ideas Math curriculum. This will allow students to have the online version of the textbook right from their computer. It also allows them the ability to have some really cool features while they're completing their math assignments. They will have the ability to do some checks before they actually submit their work so that they can see, have an opportunity to fix their problems before they get graded on it. It will also, if they get stuck during the assignment, it'll allow them to play videos and access their textbook so they get additional help. When they're finished with their assignment and they submit their work, they'll get an instant grade so the students will know immediately what they scored on that assignment. Hi, this is Mrs. Tomine, and I'm the math specialist from Middle School. This year, we're implementing a new math program called Dreambox. Dreambox is an online software provider that focuses on math from K through 12. There are more than 1,800 lessons presented as animated adventures, games, and challenges. What's good about this program is that uh, each kid is working based on their level, and it helps kids filling in some gaps if they need help in math, or if they're a math wizard, allows them to be challenged even more. Uh, each teacher is going to require for kids to uh, get five lessons per week, and based on those five lessons, they're going to get a grade. So I just want you to encourage your children to get five lessons per week. Have a wonderful day. Hello, my name is Mr. Brown. I'm the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade social studies teacher. And I'm Ms. Fouch, and I am the sixth grade novice and basic social studies teacher. So in sixth grade, we are teaching them world geography out of this book. For seventh grade, we're looking at discovering our history early ages. We're going to be learning about ancient cultures and civilizations. And for eighth grade, we're going to be using the book Discovering Our Past, History of the United States, The Early Years. So since the students are, are not in class, um, the students go online to read their, their social studies books. So to get to the social studies books, they have to go through Clever. So once they're on Clever, they can click on their social studies book, whichever it may be for sixth, seventh or eighth grade. Once they're in there, they can see their assignments and they can see all of the work that they are able to do. They can get into their actual student edition and any resources that are available for them. If you ever need to reach us, we are always available from 7.30 a.m. to 8 a.m or in the afternoon from 3 to 3.30 p.m. Once again, I'm Mr. Brown. And I'm Ms. Fouch. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye. Hey, DEA families, it's Mr. Valentine again. I'm here with Ms. Bruce, and we're going to talk about what's new with science this year. Hello, and welcome to Middle School Science. My name is Ms. Bruce, and I will be teaching 6th, 7th, and 8th grade science. The curriculum we will be using is called STEM Scopes. Most of our students are already familiar with it because it's something they've already used in the past. Each student will have their own separate logins where they will be able to access assignments, view stream videos, as well as read passages for whenever they need additional help. Homework will be provided on their asynchronous days, and each Friday there will be also be a formal assessment on the topics they have been taught throughout the week. Office hours are before school and after school. Please reach out to us if you have any questions or concerns. Hi, DEA families. My name is Miss Ahmed. I teach sixth, seventh, and eighth grade proficient ELA. Hi, my name is Miss Crump. I teach seventh and eighth grade novice and basic ELA. 
Hi, my name is Ms. Fouch and I teach sixth grade ELA, novice and basic. Hi, my name is Mrs. Turner and I am the middle school ELA specialist. So I will work with certain students to help them and give them a little additional ELA. And I'm also the eighth grade high school coordinator. So I will work alongside you to get your students into the various high schools. I'm going to quickly run over our daily schedule. Each morning from 7.30 to 8 a.m., we have office hours where you can join your teacher's Google Meet link through their homeroom page and speak with them about any questions that you have. And um, if you have any questions for another teacher that is not your student's homeroom teacher, you can um, still ask those and we will um, either have that teacher get a hold of you as quickly as possible, or um, we will answer them to the best of our ability and uh, make sure that you get the right information. At 8 a.m., we start our first class of the day, so your student needs to log into that Google Meet link on their homeroom teacher's page. Um, we do ask that they sign in as close to 8 a.m. as possible so we can get started right away. Um, after 8 a.m., your student schedule will vary based off of their grade and um, what group they're in, whether they're in a um, synchronous live class or asynchronous independent work time. Then at the end of the day from 3 to 3.30, we have office hours again where you can come back and join your teacher's um, Google Meet session and again ask any questions that have um, come up throughout the course of the day. Now I'm going to pass it off to Ms. Fouch and she is going to tell you a little bit about what Wednesdays look like. Okay, so we have what is called asynchronous learning and synchronous learning. The synchronous learning is when your students are live with their teachers and the asynchronous is when they are at home. You can look at that A at the beginning of synchronous and just think of A at home because it starts with A. And also on Wednesdays, all day, that is an asynchronous day that your students will have work to complete at home. It is important that they complete the work on Wednesdays as an asynchronous day so that they can be marked present for that day. And Ms. Ahmed is going to talk a little bit about the curriculum. Yes, so this year, middle school actually has a brand new ELA curriculum called Literature Seminar. And within this curriculum, we cover um, a wide range of genres. And currently in our first unit, we are in short stories. However, we will be transitioning to novels for the rest of the year. And our first novel in sixth grade will be A Long Walk to Water that we'll be reading together. And our seventh and eighth grade novel will be I Am Malala. We also have some supplements to our literature seminar curriculum, which your child should be familiar with. We have Wordly Wise to develop and enhance their vocabulary. And we also have Grammar Usage and Mechanics, or GUM, in order to work on sentence structure and conventions. We also have several programs that we will be um, offering online. Um, one of them is iReady and Ms. Turner is going to talk a little bit more about our digital tools. Hi there guys. So we pretty much use Google Classroom every day for our students. Within Google Classroom, there's a link that the kids go to and that's how they meet with their teachers. And I just wanna show you how you can see what your child is doing and if they have any assignments that they have not completed or what they need to be working on. So I'm gonna share my window with you. So give me two seconds. So your students, when they first come in to their session, they will go to, they will go to Clever. And then once they are in Clever, they will see these tabs. So once they see these tabs, they will click onto Google Classroom in order to get into their session. So once they, make, they click on their session, they will be at their homeroom page. So they will click onto their homeroom. So I'm actually using my daughter's 
as an example. So she's in Mr. Brown 7C class. So if you scroll down, you can see all of the different announcements that have been made. But what's important is the classwork tab. So this is the teacher's view of what the kids see. So right here where it says create, it would actually say show, show my work. So, but if you scroll down, you can see where they have a science tab, an ELA tab, math tab, math resources, art, physical ed, etc. But once you actually click on to show my work, you will see a view that looks like this. And if you were to scroll down, you can see everything that's assigned. This means that the students have yet to complete the assignments or they did not submit it yet. And then if you scroll down, you can see things that are turned in. But once the teacher actually grades it, you will see a score or a check mark for it. Also, if the kids have not submitted their assignment and it's past the due date, you will see it would say red right here. Uh, it would say missing in red. And that would be up to the teacher if they're going to actually accept that assignment late or not after it's marked missing. So I would suggest that you join them in their live meetings during the 3 to 3.30 time frame. Also, we have other tools, which everything is straight through Clever. You will have your iReady tool right here. And this is the curricular online tool where we can assign students additional practice or it's like videos that self paced that's aligned to what's happening in ELA classroom. Um, also, sometimes we have to meet with the kids separate from the actual class meeting. So they'll go right over to Google Meets and they will jump in right there. If you have any further questions, we are always here to assist you. And you can just call us at any time that you want to call us and we'll be more than happy to help you. Um, we are excited for the school year. We're happy to work with your kids. This year is going to be awesome. We're going to make the best of it because as a parent, I see what everyone's doing every day. My daughter has Miss Ahmed. She has uh, Mr. Brown, Miss Bruce, she has Miss Obermessig. So I see the outstanding job these, these teachers are doing every single day. I'm loving it as a parent. That's why my daughter is here. And if we just work together as a team, our kids are gonna soar high. We're gonna make sure they have everything they need to be successful and to ensure that we continue to be the best school in the city of Detroit. It was nice seeing you all and we look forward to partnering with you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.